Good morning, sir. Morning, Hyde. Well, sir, today's the day. Sir. Yes. <laughs> you know, Hyde, this is the happiest day of my life. Yes, indeed, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Me, ladies and gentlemen, I want to interrupt this program for a very important news flash. It is with pleasure that I announce that Mr. Oliver Norval Hardy is to be married today at high noon to the only daughter of that well-known oil magnate, Mr. Peter Cucumber. The wedding is to be held at the bride's home and will be one of the highlights of the social season. You may remember that Mr. Hardy started with his firm as elevator boy and with grim determination worked his way up to the top. And after the winning today, he becomes general manager of this vast organization. It may also be interesting to know that Mr. Stan Laurel, who has been the lifelong friend, advisor, and severest critic who guided Mr. Hardy to the pinnacle of success is to be the best man. Mr. Laurel says that after viewing the situation from all sides, he is thoroughly reconciled to the fact that the moving picture industry is still in its infancy. Mr. Laurel also states that technocracy, whilst it may appear to be the center of all... Hives. Uh, yes, sir. As soon as Mr. Laurel arrives, call a taxi. Yes, sir. Uh, just a moment. Get me some fresh toast. Certainly, sir. Oh, good morning, sir. Good morning. Lovely morning for the wedding, isn't it, sir? Mr. Laurel says... Did you get everything? Here's the railroad tickets. And uh, I got the ring. Got the ring. And, and the flowers, I ordered those, and they'll be over there in time for the wedding. Now, why did you get two tickets to Chicago when you know that I wanted to spend my honeymoon in Saskatchewan? Well, the man said there was no such place as Sasquatch. All right, all right. Never mind. What's that? What? That. It's a surprise. Well, what is it? I don't want to tell you. Let me... What's that under your arm? Your other arm. This. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's a wedding present I bought for you. Now, isn't that thoughtful? What is it? Guess. I haven't got time to guess. Open it and show it to me. Why did you have to buy a thing like that? Well, now that you're going to be married, you won't be going out much at night, and I thought it'd be something for us to play with. My playing days are over. My time is too valuable to waste on such childish falderdash. Don't you realize that I'm about to become a big oil magnet? You know what a magnet is, don't you? Sure, a thing that eats cheese. I beg your pardon, sir. I ordered your taxi. It'll be here right away. Uh, thank you, Ives. Bring my baggage down. Yes, sir. Let's try. Put that thing away and let's get ready to go. Oh, Ives. Yes, sir. Get my hat and gloves. Yes, sir.
it here, sir. That's fine. Tell him to get my package. Yes, sir. Come on, get your hat and gloves. Come on, we haven't much time. Come on, please. Get out of my way. Get those bags. Come on, come on. Go in and see what's happened to that driver. Understand? I've got to get going. Okay, Fatty, I'll be with you in just a minute. That's it. Now, just a little more straight edge. Cucumber, sir. Oh. You talk to him. Tell him I left ten minutes ago. Thank you. Those go ahead. Hello? Did you know you're holding up this wedding? Keeping my daughter and guests waiting here half an hour? Where is Mr. Hardy? He's right here. And he told me to tell you that we just left. Ten minutes ago. Please come on, I've got to get going. Just a minute, just Officer, a minute. Officer, will you minute. get him out of here? I've got to get to my wedding. Hey, you, why don't you go with the gentleman? Get my baggage. Come on, come on, oh, get up out of there and go on. It's all your fault, you bringing the jigsaw puzzle here in the first place. A big, healthy lug like you, to be wasting your time on a thing like... Sure you've got everything? You sent the flowers, and you've got the rings. Oh, Daddy, whatever could have happened to me? Oh, my dear, dry those pretty eyes. Remember, better late than never. <laughs> Now, uh, pull yourself together, my dear. What's the reef for? I don't know. Mr. Laurel picked it out himself and told him to bring it over here. Haven't you any better sense than bring a wreath to a wedding? It's nothing to do with me. Orders is orders. Order my cup. 
I may have some use for this. See who that is. 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 Come in. Telegram for you, Mr. Hardy. Oh. See what that says. It goes in there. Nobody's gonna leave here. Why? There's a piece missing out of that puzzle, and nobody leaves this place till we find it. What has that got to do with me? You're going to be searched. What? What? Well, you don't understand, sir. That's Mr. Peter Cucumber, the big oil magnet. I don't care if he's Mr. Dill Pickle. He's going to be searched. Now, come on, get over there in line. Oh! Get over Wait. there. Come on. Come on, you. Get over there. You too. Oh. So you're getting tough, are you? Hey. Oh. I want that same fight in my country. Come on. Car 49, go to 6311, old-fashioned way. It's a riot. Go get them, boys. Ah! you glad I told you to hide? Thank you. I guess the wedding's off. I'll be good. Here's that telegram that came for you. Hand me the phone. Something important? Yes, hand me the phone. Interrupt this program again, ladies and gentlemen. Another news flash. After 
a sensational rise today in the stock market, the great international horse collar corporation took a tremendous crash and failed. This will mean the loss of millions to its investors. More good news later, the Happy Hour program will now continue. Don't worry. Prosperity is just around the corner. What do you mean, don't worry? Get out of here. I understand. You want to be alone with your thoughts. Go on! 